Hello there guys, what is going on? Hesar here, welcome. Uh, yesterday was a great day with the patch notes. Everybody is so excited about the collector's shop and collector's tokens. And it feels so really exciting about the future of the game. So I decided to drop uh, yet another video for you guys with a deck that brought me to Omega rank. And it was pretty quick actually. I was struggling uh, getting from 70 to 80 and then I was like, you know, just... Uh, cruising around 75, 76, but finally I got a deck that got me there, and it's pretty strong. I think it's uh, able to get me to infinite this season as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to push it, but uh, maybe. Uh, we'll see about that, but I definitely want to share that deck with you guys. So probably you will find it interesting. Um, let me show you the list here. Uh, it looks just like that. We have Ant-Man, we have Mojo, Armor, Lizard, Mr. Fantastic, Captain America, Cosmo, Warpath, Iron Man, Professor X, Claw, and Spectrum. And it works really awesome, especially when you're dropping Professor X and just dropping uh, him hard on one of the occasions and locking it down. Uh, your opponents can do nothing about it. And it always feels like super, you know, big brain when you're locking a good location and your opponent just can sometimes just instantly concede after he sees that. Uh, but yeah, it also depends on, um, on a matchup, obviously. But this deck is super fun to play. Uh, usually you, you only need just two locations to win basically because you got Warpath, you can, you know, to maximize um, his ability, you can just leave him at one location and uh, drop Professor X onto another one. And then Spectrum, even if you're losing at uh, the locked location, Spectrum is going to buff your cards there and you will be able to, uh, to grab an easy win. So uh, let's play a couple of games and see if it still works. Uh, it, there is a new featured location, so I'm not sure if, if this will be um, this satisfying and effective right now, this week, but we'll see. We'll see about that. Okay, we don't have any one drops. We are skipping that. Our opponent is doing the same. Okay, we definitely have to invest into that location then. We need plus 100 power if there is some sort of a tie. Especially if we are only uh, competing at two locations. Okay, Cosmo makes sense right now, actually. Mm, I'm thinking about dropping Cosmo over here, too. Because he's definitely going to uh, contest this location, right? So, And we are starting, right? So let's drop Cosmo. Whatever he plays, it's going to get denied. There we go. Okay, Bishop is not a reveal card. Oh, there is Mojo World here, too. Wow. Okay, this is going to be tough. This is going to be really tough, guys. Um, okay, so we won't be able to play those cards next turn because they're going to be more expensive. So I'm thinking about I'm thinking about dropping a Warpath here. Let's drop a Warpath here. And then we're going to drop a Lizard. Okay, let's see what he plays. He plays Warpath as well. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, that's pretty surprising. But anyways, okay, let's see. Wow, nice. This is really good for us, guys. So we can just drop two cards here. Uh, we can drop Ant-Man. Get into that location. There we go. Kaboom. Okay, there's Captain America. I I'm thinking that he's going to just invest here. So uh, our last play is probably just going to be Spectrum over here to get the buffs um, here too. We, we only can play one card. And locking doesn't make any sense right now. Iron Man would make some sense. I think. We could also play Claw. Have more cards. We were going to definitely have more cards here. So it's going to be over 100. Huh. That's a tough one, to be honest. I think that we are just going to drop Spectrum here. I don't think that he's going to play uh, Enchantress. Because he's, he's still playing ongoing cards too, right? So let's play Spectrum and see if this works. I mean, we are snapping way too late. <laughs> should have snapped before that, but we should be good, right? Yep. There we go, guys. That's a win. That was a sneaky uh, Mr. Fantastic. But we got that. Should have snapped probably earlier. Okay. Let's finish some missions. Grab those sweet, sweet credits. As you can see, I'm hoarding credits right now because... Uh, I want to upgrade some cards that uh, are dropping soon. The new cards, there, are gonna, there is going to be pool 4 and 5. You can check, by the way, uh, the video, the summary video about the new patch on my channel. Okay, there is bar with no name, uh, which is pretty okay for us because nobody's going to play any cards here. And we can invest easily into two locations. Oh, wow. Okay, that is tricky. 
I mean, we can drop Mojo here, it's fine. I don't think that he's gonna go into, you know, dropping more cards onto that location, but... Oh, wow. Mmm, that sucks. This is painful for us, honestly. This is pretty painful. Anyways. <laughs> okay, there's Bishop over here. Okay, I think uh, that we are slowly... We have to slowly get ready for... Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, there's some crazy RNG going on right now. And we cannot play any card, guys. That sucks, but okay. Turn 5 and 6 should be strong still, right? We can just play Iron Man and we're gonna play Spectrum. I think I'm gonna snap here. I wonder if he's gonna play anything better, but if he's playing Sunspot, he might be playing Infinite too. He might be playing Infinite. Okay, there is Cosmo. Doesn't... Doesn't bother us that much. We have to play Iron Man, right? I don't think that Lee's playing Enchantress. We snapped, he's not snapping. He's not snapping back. Okay, yeah, he's playing Infinite, guys. He's playing Infinite for sure. So this is gonna be 32 points. Can we outplay this? I think we can, right? Spectrum is, is yeah. Spectrum is winning us the game. So there we go, guys, wow. Okay. Yeah, that was some crazy RNG, but still, the deck, you can see the power of this deck. Even if uh, the situation wasn't like that, it was a one match, pretty much. Okay, let's play another one. We still have a lot of time. Those games are pretty quick. And the deck is really bonkers. What can I tell you? Okay, that's the new location. Uh, that's the new location. I don't like it because we don't have the Killmonger. We cannot really control it. Um, if he is dropping a lot of cards here and then, you know, just spamming the board, then it might get problematic for us. I mean, we could do the same stuff. But I prefer to get the cards that we have in our deck instead of this. I'm thinking about dropping America here. You usually want to contest the, the middle location because you're, you're playing Mr. Fantastic here as well. So if you, you know, drop four cards here, it's usually uh, it's usually pretty strong. Okay, I think that he's going for the Zoo variant, as we can see. I wonder if uh, he's going to keep dropping cards here or this is the only one that he's dropping here. But anyways, um, let's log this down, I guess, so that he's not playing Enchantress, for instance, over here. If that, if that makes uh, any sense. We are first off. Okay, there's Angela. And there's the Ant-Man. Okay, so pretty much the same variant, right? Just uh, ongoing cards coming down. Okay, I think that Claw makes sense. Claw makes sense here. I want some points over here. We could also, like, move Claw. We could move something out from here into New York. Okay, there's Blue Marvel. Yeah, that's understandable. <laughs> it's pretty understandable, but we are gonna um, invest more over here. Okay, Mr. Fantastic is awesome. Uh, we can go for Spectrum now, but I guess... It would be just better to play those cards now. I want the buff. I, I know, you know, the buff should be as big as possible. It's gonna be eight. I mean, we're gonna only get one, um, one mine. I don't think that I need that mine, honestly. We won't be able to play Fantastic, both Fantastic and Spectrum. So let's do something like that right now. Okay, so he's dropping the last card here too. There's, there's the strong guy. And here comes the Vibranium. Okay. 16. It's 23 here. He's going to probably move some sort of a, a one of the cards from here too. Yeah, I'm thinking about dropping that here. 
going for the Ant-Man and playing Spectrum over here. So we that so that we get all the buffs. Here, I think it should be enough. Can we snap? Are we winning this guys or not? I think that he's gonna just move a lot of cards into New York. And play some big stuff into the middle location. I mean, we're losing the Vibranium Mines for sure, but... Okay. That's weird. Here comes a big buff. It's a lot of cards. There's the Squirrel Girl? What? Oh, man! God damn it. Sunspot is winning the middle location. That sucks. Okay. But it was, like, the, probably the still the best play, right? Yeah, I think there was no other option. Maybe... No, moving Claw over here wouldn't make any sense. Moving Captain America either. So yeah, that was the best play that we... We could have pulled. So yeah, shit happens. Well, let's move to the next one. Let's move to the next one. So that's the thing, it might not be the best deck right now to play against that location, but it's definitely a great deck overall. Okay, we can try to maximize the energy and just play Captain America and Cosmo, both of them. But we could also play Claw. Let's play, let's play Claw, guys. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's playing Yondo, killing the Ant-Man, okay. No big deal. Oh, Gamora is not hitting the spot. What do we see here? Oof, that's a good one. We cannot play anything right now. <laughs> I wonder if he... Okay, yeah, he's playing Scorpion. This is, yeah, this is some sort of a control variant. Ouch. That is painful. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was nice. Uh, His... He's going first. I mean, we can have two Captain Americas, right? We can have two Captains. Oh, there's the Iceman. Jesus. Okay, number four. I mean, we can play Cosmo and just lock two locations for him. And we are first, right? So, I mean, let's do that. Let's do that. There's gonna be double Cosmo, he's not gonna be- Oh, Shang-Chi. Double Shang-Chi, sure. Makes sense. Um, Warpath is gonna be only 5 power. I mean, we can just play Lizard, and this is gonna be pretty much the same. Uh, we could play Mr. Fantastic over here. And then there is gonna be a big, big Spectrum. We are not locking anything down, it doesn't make any sense right now. I think Mr. Fantastic is going to be better. Although having like a double spectrum could have been better than having a double Mr. Fantastic, right? So probably that was a little mistake. But this location is already won. We just need to uh, compete over here. So yeah, this is the only valid solution right now, I guess. We just drop it like it's hot over here. And there is that, I think. Oh, look at that guy. Boom. Oof, there's Odin. Okay. This is not painful, but that is going to be painful. Oof, guys, wow, that was a close one. That was a close one. <laughs> that Ironheart, oh, could have spoiled the whole plan. But there we go. It's a win. Super satisfying deck. I'm Honestly, I'm telling you guys. And I feel that ongoing is like a, like a hack right now. A lot of people are playing Zoo. A lot of people are playing uh, on Reveal. So uh, ongoing is something fresh, something that... Um, feels really good to play if you have all of these cards you can obviously replace some of them you don't have to play the exact the same uh, deck as I'm playing but 
Uh, I recommend it. Maybe you don't have Mojo, you can replace it with something else. You can replace it with Scarlet Witch uh, to, you know, to, to, for some um, uh, shenanigans. You can play, for example, Storm uh, to lock down some of the other locations. So this is this is a pretty crazy deck with a lot of variants, with a lot of uh, you know deck building possibilities. So it's uh, I think that it's something that you can play flexibly right now on the ladder. So yeah, um, this is going to be that, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my uh, patch notes um, summary video as well and uh, the other guides mm, uh, if you have some time. <laughs> I really appreciate that. So yeah, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Have a great day and keep on snapping.